think you should What's going on everybody, it's Gamer here, and today we're going to be talking about Boruto episode 40. Now last week we didn't get a Boruto ep episode because it was to start a new year, I guess they wanted to take a week off, you know, to polish up on the animation, on the script, probably, and it's probably a good idea that they did because they could. there was a lot of ways that they could have easily made Boruto episode 40 really, really boring, and... Overall, it wasn't a bad episode because I actually sat down the whole the whole way through, obviously, because I have to, um, and I wasn't bored all the way through it. The, the beginning of the episode's kind of slow, as it probably should be, because it's you know explaining to the new audience who hasn't seen Naruto Part One is wondering uh, like how are they supposed to get their missions and stuff like that, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, they explain that there's like S rank missions all the way up, all the way down to D rank missions and D to C rank missions are are specifically for Genin and then once you're tuning you can handle higher ranked missions such as uh, such as uh, like B rank missions and such and then when you're joining you can handle uh, obviously A and S rank missions you know sometimes by yourself sometimes with a whole squad and in this case because it's a group of Genin they're going to be doing a whole bunch of D rank missions as they should be uh, maybe occasional C rank mission here and there but mostly they're going to be doing D rank missions so Boruto and the new team 7 consisting of Boruto, Konohamaru, Sarada, and Mitsuki uh, they get their first mission uh, from Naruto, the seventh Hokage himself, and then of course it's kind of like a callback to how Naruto was in the beginning with his like first few missions, etc., etc. How he was like, "Oh, I want a higher ranked mission because all these D rank missions are too, are too easy." Da da da, right? So um, they kind of give him. A mission that probably would have been considered a higher ranked mission back in part one but I guess because with today's generation um, dealing with a bunch of bandits is like a is like a low ranked mission now because that's what Boruto's group gets and I don't know I feel like this would have been considered like easily like a high like C rank mission or something like that back in part one but I guess that's kind of different compared how it is now because back then in part one there was a lot of fights and war going on so I guess it was, it was a bigger deal back then but I guess it's not anymore um, unironically though they actually do end up doing a callback to part one with uh, the third Okage Hiruzen he decided to give Naruto and his group a C rank mission which is an escort mission with Tazuna to, to bring him back to finish the bridge uh, over in the Land of Ways, which then introduced the Zabuza and Haku, and it also introduced an arc that arguably everybody loves. I really liked that arc. It was really good in part one. I, I can never really forget about it, obviously, because it's like the first official arc of the series, but you know, you know what I mean. So they kind of do the exact same thing because once Borto and, and the rest of them leave the village to go to. Uh, the other village that is asking for Shinobi, uh, they kind of are told that, yeah, they were they were initially told that they were just supposed to get rid of all these bandits that are going after, like, their food, I guess, like, their supplies, and that was the case, but now it's actually a bigger deal because the village that's attacking, or the, the people who are attacking the village that Boruto is at right now uh, hired Shinobi to go and get the D to the bridge because that's apparently like a super big deal and so because they hired ninja you know it became a higher a higher ranked to a B mission a B ranked mission that's what Konohamaru says in the episode so uh, when Konohamaru is told that they were that shinobi were hired to come after and try to steal this D they didn't notice yet that they were trying to go after that but they were told that shinobi were hired to come and attack the village that they're at Borto, Sarada, and Mitsuki are outside of a building and then they hear a commotion. They hear someone being attacked because someone was like, ah! And then I was like, oh, is someone dying? And then 
yeah, the, the joke wasn't really that funny because someone actually did get stabbed with like a really heavy sword apparently because Boruto was, was like, screw this, I'm gonna attack him with my, my my tiny kunai, and then the guy swings his sword over at Boruto. Boruto obviously blocks it, and he's like, oh, that's really heavy, you know? I was like, oh, I didn't think a sword as small as the sword is can be heavy, but sure, why not? So, the the guy with the sword, I, f I forgot his name, I'm not going to try to remember it, I'll probably remember it by the time it's next week with the next episode, which is episode 41. Uh, uh, he leaves, a uh, blinding light flash thing kind of appears, and then like the head of the village that Konohamaru and everybody are at, are like, yeah, they're going after the deed to the bridge, and then even Boruto was like, is it really that important? Because I didn't really understand why it was that important either. I don't, I don't really get the importance of it. Like, I understand, like, they use the bridge to go out and get supplies, because they did say in the beginning of the episode that because there's a drought going on right now, it's really hard for them to grow crops and stuff like that, so they use the bridge to go out and get supplies and bring it back, etc, etc. But it still doesn't really make all that much sense why this deed to the bridge is so important. So... Uh, the guys, the bandits, I'm gonna call them as I'm gonna I'm gonna call them what they were first called in the beginning of the episode. They're bandits, I guess. Uh, they're all planning to do something. It's later at night. They go and attack the village, and apparently everybody's under Genjutsu by a uh, shinobi, obviously. And everybody's getting attacked. Boruto actually gets a cut on his arm. When I was like, I was like, yeah, we're gonna see him. Are we gonna see his ass get kicked? And I was like, no, not yet. No, it didn't. Ha I, w I really want to see Boruto just get slapped on the ground. Dude, I don't even know why. I just think it's hilarious. I I don't know why. In my mind, I'm just like, yeah, he, he, he kind of deserves it. Just because, like, he's annoying sometimes. So, anyways, Konohamaru is thinking of a plan, like, alright, how do we get the, the Jutsu user out of this scenario so we can we can get him? And then Mitsuki's like, oh, let me use my, my wind-style Jutsu, because that'll help. And then, uh, yeah, he does it, everyone kind of gets blown back, and then the shinobi with the head of the village actually is being taken away, and then the episode kind of just ends there nothing else really happens that's it and then it, it, we actually also get a new intro or not a new intro a new outro i wish we got a new intro but no we got a new outro new ending uh it looks good i'll say that i, I sometimes i just wish the song could be better but what, what can you do about that so uh we got a couple interesting stuff for next week uh hopefully it's, it's interesting because i don't want my I don't want my interest levels to go down because I was generally or genuinely kind of interested in this episode. I wasn't I wasn't bored like completely all the way through it like I was like the past couple of weeks previously because sometimes they were just like, "Ah, oh, can something just happen already?" and then it's like we got like the whole Mitsuki episode and I was like, "Oh, I really like this. This is actually really good." And then we got this episode and I was like, "Well, it wasn't as good. It wasn't as great as last episode, but at least I wasn't entirely bored watching it." And then uh, I just I just hope that it kind of continues on with this and then progressively gets better and better and better and then that way my interest levels are at an all time high because like I said previously before I only want this series to you know get better and have people more interested watching the series because I have faith that it will but right now it's just like it's just like man it is really freaking slow it is really slow but what can you do sometimes it just happens in a series but anyways that's the end of the video which means that's the end of the episode overall uh it was great in terms of animation as far as i can tell it was actually it was actually really good i didn't see like any flaws in animation art style was pretty great um you know the you know, plot in terms of plot the episode is kind of how you would normally see like kind of like a how an episode based off of someone's first mission would go with someone like Boruto who's the son of Naruto so it's it's whatever the episode was 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 above average i would say it's it was pretty good uh, i don't i wouldn't i wouldn't say you you miss much by skipping it 
because it is, you know, their quote first mission. But what are you gonna do? Anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy listening to me ramble on for like 10 minutes or so, probably. I don't even really know how long I've been recording. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, consider consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm stuttering. Consider hitting that subscribe button uh, and push that notification button so that you never miss a new video. And that's pretty much it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a beautiful life. I'll see you guys in the next one.